Diamond black fans anemia, DBA, is a severe but very rare hematological disease. In Lund in Sweden, a Scandinavian meeting was arranged for patients, relatives, treating doctors and researchers. The goal was to create a Scandinavian network and to discuss today's and tomorrow's treatments. DBA, a diamond black fan anemia, is an inherited blood disorder. Uh, and uh, the patients, they usually get the symptoms early in life, uh, during the first year. And there is an underproduction of red blood cells. And the most severely affected patients need blood transfusions, uh, or they can also be treated by uh, corticosteroids. Um, 20% uh, of the patients, they then uh, undergo a remission or they, uh, uh, their symptoms disappear. However, it's a very severe disorder and there are sometimes also uh, 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 physical abnormalities like head and neck abnormalities, but the anemia is the most severe symptom and uh, uh, the patients absolutely need treatment for this. Today, you can only cure diamond black fan anemia by bone marrow transplantation, but it's a risky procedure and it's only done in about 10% of cases. In Sweden, one to two babies are diagnosed each year with DBA. DBA patients suffer primarily from anemia. That makes them tired. Symptoms like poor appetite, pallor and poor growth are frequent. A variety of physical abnormalities can also occur, from the characteristic DBA thumb to heart murmurs. Eftersom den här sjukdomen är så otroligt ovanlig och våra länder är, är så väldigt små, så det finns ett så otroligt litet underlag, tänker jag, med, med patienter. Jämfört med i USA till exempel, där, där de har ganska många drabbade trots att det är en ovanlig sjukdom. Jag tycker att det är jätteviktigt med ett skandinaviskt samarbete, både för patienter, det är mitt perspektiv på det, men också för forskare eller behandlande läkare. The day was arranged by two strong strategic research environments, stem therapy and hematoliné. And this is the natural place to gather uh, everyone because the patients and doctors are spread out throughout the Nordic countries, but all the research is performed in Lund and also Stefan Carlson and I, we have the international connections to be able to report ongoing studies throughout the world and, uh, and discuss these uh, upcoming findings. During the day, researchers and clinical doctors held lectures about new findings, treatments and challenges. The main challenge is to give this patient with DBA a very good quality of life, being possible to live with full activity, growing as any other child. And that could be done by giving blood transfusions, which is done in the beginning, by giving the treatment with steroids, which is the, actually the only known working treatment for the, for the moment. And for those that need blood transfusions, we need to give them iron chelation therapy to get rid of the iron that they accumulate while getting blood transfusions. So we have problems with transfusions and the iron and the chelation therapy to get rid of the iron. For those that are on steroids, we have the problems with the complications of steroids and that we have to be very observant on. But those are the main problems. And for a small group of children, there is a possibility of bone marrow transplantation. But then you have to know for who this will be the good treatment. For some, it will be perfect treatment. For others, there are risks and high risks with this treatment. Usually it takes a very long time to transform a research finding into a treatment. But sometimes a discovery in the laboratory can very quickly go into to a clinical practice. For example, a good example of this is Stefan Carlson's finding. We have been uh, developing gene therapy for uh, uh, diamond black fan anemia for the one that is caused by mutations in the ribosomal S19. And we have transferred the gene into cells from DBA patients and we've been able to improve uh, red blood cell production uh, both outside the body and also after transplantation into experimental animals. And we have furthermore developed 
developed a mouse model for the disease and we've been able to cure the mice that have uh, this form of diamond black fun anemia. And I hope that this means that we can also in the future cure patients uh, with DBA uh, using gene therapy. A tour around the lab gave yet another opportunity to learn more about the research. Och vi idag har fått höra ganska många spännande saker. Eh, och då har vi fått höra till exempel om genterapi och eller man skulle kunna tänka sig stamcellsforskning som kan leda till eh, en effektiv behandling. Så. Men också hur man på ett effektivt sätt använder steroider eller, eller transfusioner så att allt kan förbättras. Marcin Vlodarski talked about the German model. They have a central registry for DBA and a very active patients association. And the role of this registry is to um, give treatment recommendations to the local clinics. So for example, if a patient uh, with DBA goes to his doctor, he's referred to his local clinic and then the local clinic uh, sends um, requests for diagnostics uh, procedures to us to Freiburg and also requests on treatment recommendations. And the, goal, the main goal of this study and of this registry is to provide a better care by analyzing the treatment data of those patients and also to provide um, new research ideas and um, perform research studies. In Sweden, Lena Maria Gestrin started a patient association 26 years ago when her son was born and diagnosed DBA. At that moment, 26 years ago, we didn't know anyone more with DBA. So I start searching like a maniac to get in contact with as much people as possible with this disease. The Patients Association has been sleeping for some years but has now had a restart. Often I think you, because a, a, an experienced patient, so to say, that has had a, a disease for a very long time can actually be a better doctor almost for another patient than a doctor who has never seen this patient before because they know so much about treating this disorder. Patients, relatives, treating doctors and researchers have a lot to learn from each other. The, the patients who have to live under such difficult conditions, they need optimism, they need to believe in the future. I hope I can uh, uh, help them to believe that we find better therapies for DBA.